Published 0842 EDT, the 20th of August 2017 Updated 1043 EDT, the 20th of August 2017 The royal family have been keeping a relatively low profile of late having escaped to Balmoral in the midst of various revelations in the run-up to the 20th anniversary since Princess Diana's death. But today the family put on a united front as they headed to church for their regular Sunday service. The Duchess of Cambridge, who has not been seen since her recent tour of Belgium, joined Prince William for the short journey to the Crathy Kirk Chapel this morning. Scroll down for video The Duchess of Cambridge joined Prince William for the short journey to the Crathy Kirk Chapel, a stone's throw away from Balmoral, this morning get 36, recycled a £369 chocolate-coloured wool coat from Hobbs for the service which she was first spotted in in 2012, she added an elegant touch to her ensemble in the form of an oversized black hat and appeared to have opted for a printed turquoise dress which could be seen peeking from the collar. The Duchess kept her makeup to a minimum on Sunday and wore her hair in natural waves while off duty on her summer break. Prince William cut a dapper figure in a traditional two-piece suit complete with crisp white shirt and black tie. Prince William sat up front next to Uncle Prince Andrew who took the driver's seat. Meanwhile Kate could be seen sat in the back. Meanwhile Prince William cut a dapper figure in a traditional two-piece suit complete with crisp white shirt and black tie. While the Duke of Cambridge took the front seat next to Uncle Prince Andrew, Kate was left sitting in the back. The trio could be seen sharing a joke as they arrived at the chapel on Sunday morning. Following behind was Her Majesty the Queen, who was accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh. This morning the Queen looked elegant in a terracotta-colored jacket and matching hat while the Duke of Edinburgh smartened up in a tweed jacket. Following behind was Her Majesty the Queen, who was accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh this morning. The monarch, who was dressed in an elegant terracotta ensemble, appeared to be in high spirits chatting animatedly on her way to church. Also joining them to today were Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, who took their own car to the venue. Prince Charles got behind the wheel, while Camilla took the passenger seat dressed in a eye-catching fuchsia ensemble. Prince Charles got behind the wheel, while Camilla took the passenger seat dressed in a eye-catching fuchsia ensemble. Camilla gave a flash of her smile as she passed by photographers on her way to church. Prince Edward, who was joined by Zara and Mike Tyndall were not far behind, seen sharing a joke as Edward drove them to Crathy Kirk. The picturesque Crathy Kirk, where the Queen is a regular while in residence at Balmoral is a mere stone's throw from Balmoral Castle on Royal Deeside. The Queen has been a regular at the Sunday service since arriving in Balmoral in July. Her Majesty typically arrives in Scotland August after Balmoral Castle is closed to visitors and full security checks are carried out on the grounds. Prince Edward, who was joined by Mike Tyndall were not far behind, seen sharing a joke as Edward drove them to Crathy Kirk. The pair appeared to be in high spirits as they arrived at the church on Sunday morning. Zara Tyndall took the back seat as her husband and uncle sat up front for the short car ride. Crathy Kirk, in Aberdeenshire, is the regular place of worship for the royal family when they are holidaying at nearby Balmoral Castle. The Queen famously enjoys a more low-key existence while staying at the Scottish retreat with her former royal protection officer Richard Griffin recently revealing that she had a conversation with unsuspecting American tourists visiting the estate while dressed in tweeds and a scarf. Balmoral, which was bought by Prince Albert for £32,000 in 1852, is said to be the Queen's favourite home. During her stay at the castle, she relaxes by going for walks on the Aberdeenshire estate, eating picnics and cooking barbecues. Princess Eugenie has previously said of Balmoral it's the most beautiful place on earth. I think Granny is the most happy there, I think she really, really loves the Highlands.